All right, folks. Happy Cinco de Mayo. We've got one of our favorite Mexican spots right here in the heart of Orlando for you. Yeah, man. So come along with us as we check out Agave Azul. All right, come on. All right, my friends, I'm Christopher Barrelette with the Barrelette Collection. And I'm Nate Lester with Preferred Real Estate Brokers. And, and we, we are the Taste, Taste Buzz. Buzz. If you're watching us for the first time, which yes, you are, right? Because this is our first episode. Something Numero uno. special for the Cinco de Mayo. Yes, uh, Nate and I are real estate agents here in Orlando, Florida. We like to go out all the time and have a nice meal, drink, yep. or big foodies. Uh -huh. And we always end up talking real estate and all that as well. Yeah, man. Uh, so this is our show to share that with you. Yeah, man. We're, so we're super excited to be able to share this with you. Today we're at Agave Azul Restaurant. I'm located here off Orlando Ave in Minnesota. And this is a phenomenal phenomenal Mexican restaurant. They have a wide variety of different types of food that you can be able to eat. So we're very, very excited to be able to share this with you and I'll give you a little insight on uh, what's kind of going on on the real estate side in Winter Park. Definitely. Then we'll let you know what's going on in Winter Park. Yeah, I think you're going to love some of the dishes and things that we've got to show you tonight. Um, we checked our uh, Dallas Make Ya Holla scale um, <laughs> and this one's definitely not too crazy at all. A lot no. of the entrees I think fall like around 15 to $20 or yeah, so. Yeah, it's pretty it affordable. just might make you a little bit, but I think very much worth it. Portion yes. sizes, flavors, everything, it's on point. So I think it's worth it for you to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stay tuned, guys. We can't wait to share uh, all the real estate stuff that we have with you. And most importantly, this food, food, real estate, lifestyle, yes. man, can't get no better. Can't get any better. Than living, that. baby. folks so now it's time to give you the scoop the scoop let's go let's go winter park <laughs> winter park is uh, uh, an area in town that has a very rich history uh it's probably one of the first places come to uh it's very close in proximity to downtown where orlando kind of originated uh and a lot of the affluent uh of that time and so many generations down the line families uh, actually still live here in winter park yeah Yep, 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 yep. I think it's a very awesome area. Um, there's a very uh, rich sense of community, like Chris was saying here. Yes, uh, yeah, great school definitely. districts. Um, just a, ve a very rich sense of community, like you said before. I think the great part also about Winter Park is that um, everything is conveniently located to you. You have your grocery stores that are around the corner, different places to eat, to shop. Um, it's definitely a, a nice, you know, very cool melting pot of people and I think that also is a reflection of the houses that are in this area right Chris right definitely um, you're gonna find a, a, a different mix I think you're gonna find some that are built you know some time ago mm -hmm. maybe renovated to make new yeah. you're gonna find uh, brand new contemporary maybe even mansions all the way up to yes, that level yes, yes, yes. Uh, and you might even find the one-off uh, multi-family you know apartment maybe you know, six or seven or eight, you know, total uh, units just on the corner. Uh, yeah. So it's a very interesting area as far as the opportunities and what's built out here. Yeah. Pricing, uh, you know, you might find something in the four to five hundreds, but I think the average is more in the six to seven hundred area. Yeah. Uh, and you up, definitely find up. things are going to be in the millions and above. Uh, yes. That is for sure, especially yeah. if it's one of your uh, newer contemporary style, you know, mansions, things like that. Mm -hmm. yep, 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 yep. So if you're looking for houses that um, aren't cookie cutter and that um, have yes, their unique. own type Very of unique. unique flavor and style, Very unique. Winter Park is a fantastic community and a great area to be able to live in Orlando. Definitely. Oh, so and they have a out. very famous boat ride that you got to go take. It really? takes you around this beautiful lake all around Winter Park. Right. It shows you all. It's absolutely phenomenal. Hey. So we hope you guys come and check it out. That's going to be dope. All right. Yeah.
right, folks, so we have got a treat for you. Yes, we do. Man, ah, oh, we did it. I think we did a good job of giving you a good idea of some of the great dishes that they've got here at Agave Azul. Yes, so, we started off with one of the appetizers, which we just could not resist. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw it on the menu and was like, got to have these. These <laughs> are the Tijuana Tostadas. Uh, so it's got avocado, lettuce, tomato. It's got uh, is that feta cheese? I think feta carne. cheese, chicken, um, some pico on there. Oh well. man, it is absolutely wonderful. I can't yeah. wait to bite into those. Looks absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Nate, tell them what you got. So um, I got the night in Tulum. Uh, this is my drink that I got. We made with the mezcal. It's awesome margarita. Excited to drink that. A little bit of that. sweet and spicy, like a night in Tulum. Yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I also got a chimichanga, chicken chimichanga, with some pico and some guac here, and some uh, mixed uh, yellow rice. So I'm very excited to try this dish. Um, chimichanga is normally my, my favorite. So I want to see how Gavi Azul's chimichanga stacks up against some of my other Mexican restaurants. What you get, Chris? Now, of course, it seems to be the most popular uh, Mexican dish out there right now. Burrito yeah. tacos. Oh, yeah. Everybody's talking about the burrito tacos. Yeah, so. I said, let me go ahead and see what Agave Azul does on the Burrito Tacos. And it's looking mighty nice right now uh, with the beans and the sauce to dip into, rice. I'm kind of uh, yeah. ready. And for the dish, they gave me three tacos, which I'm very, very happy about that. Some places I think, you know, they're like, oh, I'll give you two. And it's you skip on your stuff. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. to me is a little bit skippy for the price. Me. So um, they okay. gave me three. Feed me. I got lime to squeeze. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, and then I got the Forbidden Fruta Margarita, what you drinking which on? is uh, passion fruit. Uh, I don't have a mezcal, <laughs> but it's very, very good. Oh, very good. Oh, so I, 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 if you like a little bit of fruity, I like the fruit. I got the salt on the rim for that little bit of contrast. Mm. Very good. I like it. Yeah. Uh, so the rim has a little gonna... spice on it. Here, yes. So the, uh, like, what, uh, tajine? Is that what they yeah, call it, right? I think, yeah, tajine. tajine. Yeah. I love that. Uh, my, my wife definitely loves that on the mango with the mango. I think gotcha. it's got in there, gotcha. too. Gotcha. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got a little bit of mango with the tajine on top. So it's awesome. Uh, so, yes, we are going to be um, taking a look and eating all of this here. All right. And then uh, we're going to let you know what we think. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. All right, folks. So it's time to let you know what we think. You want to start, man? Because I'm like bursting yeah, with, with I'm bursting with praise and energy right man, now. This is <laughs> like a barely this, contain it. <laughs> this was uh, this was awesome. It, it really was, man. I mean, I barely was able to get. Oh, I got half my chimney hunger down. And some of our rice, I couldn't even. That was a big chimichanga. The portion <laughs> is crazy. Like I think that's the thing I was most excited okay, about. Uh, food was phenomenal. Um, I felt all the flavors coming through my mouth. This, uh, the cilantro, the onions, tomatoes, everything was just. It, it was great. It was great. I really, really, truly enjoyed it. Enjoyed my drink here. The, the, the mangoes in here was a very nice touch. So um, overall, I mean, I, I, I definitely rate this place an eight. I think it's phenomenal. Yes, it's pretty great. First off, the Tijuana Tostadas. Make sure you get those. You Fire. have to get those. Fire. Like, just the flavors, everything come together. The way they pile on top of that tostada, the cheese, the avocado, the pico de gallo, the carne, the... Oh, it was so good. Going on. It, was it was so good. It was amazing. It was amazing. So that was great. Are your burrito and tacos? And then burrito tacos were phenomenal. I, again, the three... Um, I think it's also nice and filling. I love the rice. The rice is actually with the little vegetables, little pea and carrot, yeah. but it's flavored so well that like even yeah. eating it by itself, I was like, oh man, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, you want to throw in your taco, you want to eat it on the side, whatever, like it had its own great flavor. Beans was great. The dip was nice. And they gave a little salsa verde that was nice and spicy. Yeah. Uh, crazy, so crazy thing about the rice is that some places that you go to, they'll just give you like just red, yellow rice, like out of a box. You know what I'm saying? But here you can tell like, they really took their time with the rice and uh, yeah, they put some, they some care do. into it. Cook and season their rice like, themselves. It's, 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 season, nice. it's season well. Yeah, season. and drinks overall were great. Both the margaritas we had were yeah. awesome. Uh, so good. if you're looking for a great time, great meal, um, good food, you're in Winter Park, you're checking it out, check out this is definitely a great place to stop. There check out Agave Azul. All right, folks. So there you have it. That was Agave Azul. Agave Man, Azul. I'm telling you, I'm feeling good. I'm the food... Drinks, they hit it. Margaritas, oh, the forbidden fruta, passion fruit, that was really good. Yeah. And the yeah. contrast with the salt, I loved it. I mean, you know, and I think, yeah, man, I saw Nate, he was enjoying his stuff. So, 
you got to come check it out. Please make sure that you do. If you're down here, you're looking at Holmes Winter Park, come see us. Uh, come check out Agave Azul. But yes, this is a great look into what it's like to be here in Florida, living a lifestyle, enjoying our food, our, our sunny weather, our good everything, you know. It's Florida living. We enjoyed uh, hanging out with you guys, but we got to run, catch on the flip side next yes. time. Yes, next time. Peace. Happy Cinco de Mayo.